If you're looking to buy any Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use code IHAS for 5% off at checkout. Hey guys, Ice Carrot here and I'm bringing episode 24 of Trading to 1 Million Coins. So last episode, we set the bar real high. We asked for 1,000 likes and you guys still managed to hit, we hit 1,080 likes. So on this video, can we go for 1,000 likes and I will try my hardest to get two episodes of this out next week. I know I'm slacking. This episode, we have a load of live trading, like cut from sort of different videos and some investments at the end. So hopefully next episode, or maybe, maybe even two episodes of time, those investments will pay off. We'll have a load of trading and we will probably, I'm gonna say it now, we're gonna hit 1 million coins before the end of the year or before Christmas. Sometime, we're gonna hit it soon. We're gonna have that 1 million for team of the year and I'm not really too sure what we're gonna be doing next. But first of all, we're gonna start with some inform sniping. We were sniping the latest Belgian inform called Vossen and literally I made so much profit off sniping Vossen it's absolutely crazy. We're going to go through the snipes and then we'll start the overlay commentary. But here we go. Live sniping is a bit awkward because this was recorded probably about five days ago. And yes, I'm wearing the shame t-shirt. But there we go. Well, I'm trying to pick him up for 122k or lower. So worst case is we sell him on at 113. Oh, we missed it. This is literally the player to snipe right now. Boston. And I've got 70k. Oh my god, that would have been 50k profit if we would have picked that up. Absolutely mad. Here we go. 119. Yes, there we go. 119k. I'm gonna list up for 132,000 coins. It's a 4k. Actually, no, it's a 5k profit, which isn't too bad to be honest. Decent snipe right there, and we're gonna keep going. 95. I swear, we just missed out. 120. I can pick that up. Oh, we missed it as well. Because you need to make sure they sell it. In oh my god, 99k. We just missed out on a 25k profit. So we're gonna keep sniping at 122, 110. Oh, I was so fast on that. Literally, these cards. They're selling instantly. You have to be so quick on them. You guys go out. No. One just expires for 30k. That was a 95k profit if I were to pick that up. 95,000 coins. I'm going to get one. I can feel it. Oh my god, I thought I just had that one there. I am sniping so fast. My video earlier has helped me. Come on, here we go. 117. There we go. 117k. I'm going to list one at 130 just to make sure it sells pretty quickly. 6k profit there, not too bad, and I just want to get one for like 13k, 118k, 5k profit in the bag, there we go, we'll just go up for 130k as well, I'm going to keep going until I get like a sniping bound, 47k I swear, I swear, that's an 80k profit there, let's go, no, no, 15k, that is 107k profit, whoever just bought that card, just made 107k profit. So while I was editing this video, I got sent in a trade for the top five trades of the week. It was sent in by Kieran and look at this. He picked up that card we missed out on for 15,000 coin. Well, GG, I guess you're quicker than me on the snipe. 120k, we missed that one somehow. To pick up one of these cards, you literally have to be straight on it, straight in like that. Oh my god, I didn't even move it down. So, so fast. But the amount of profit you can make. And this is probably one of the best sniping filters I have found all year. That is a good profit. 108k. Sell it on for 130. 15k live profit. Really nice. This is basically my episode of trading to 1 million, to be honest. 100k. We missed that one. You guys know I snipe pretty quick. But I'm going full out. There we go. 75,000 coins. We can sell this on for 123k making ourselves a 48k profit. So those were our five live snipes and some of the failed snipes. Here you can see all of the Vossens did sell on and we're sat at 670,000 coins after those trades, which is just absolutely crazy. We made a load of profit. And here was the next, it was a sniping filter. It was the RSL league to do with the latest marquee matchups. I, my filter was RSL and Defender, I believe. And literally these cards, I was sniping for about 3,000 coins, selling them on for just under 4,000 coins making about like a 600 coin profit per card, which is really, really nice. And I picked up quite a lot of these cards here, you can see. This is probably like my bit of trading. I was trying to get us all the way up to 700K, but sadly that didn't happen this video, but next episode will be way over 700K. So you can see here that Boca, I picked it up for 950 coins, selling on for about 4,000 coins. It's crazy profit. We even picked up a rare gold card from this field. And to be honest, 
The best way to make coins this year are right, investing and sniping. Like, trading methods do work, but sniping with a marquee matchup, I just find so much easier. So here you can see all of the cards did sell on. We're at 686,000 coins, which is really, really nice. And you're about to see our coin take a massive drop. To do with the latest squad builder challenge, it was the FA Cup hybrid. You needed six nations, League 1 and League 2 players, and they actually required a CDM. So this CDM called Harry, he was French, so first of all, he's already going for 1,700 coins, but that's in his centre mid position. And the position modifier cost between like 700 to 900 coins, really. It kind of depended on the price. But basically, what you would do, you'd buy a Harry card, you can see I put him in my active squad. I already had some position modifiers in the club before I recorded this segment, but we take our Harry card here. This is sort of like a little training method, which you can try right now. So the Harry card, we go to positioning, we convert him from a CM to a CDM. So we paid 1.7k for him. The position modifier will say cost a thousand coins, so we paid 2.7k for him. And then if we go and check Harry's price in a CDM, you will see it is way, way higher than what the modifier and thing cost me. So say we paid 2.7k, there are no Harry cards for 4.7k, the cheapest is 5,000 coins. So we can go and sell on our Harry. We want to undercut it a bit just to make sure our car like, sells them quite easily. But you can see here, we take our Harry card, we can list it up. I think we go for about 4.7k or 4.5k when we list it up. And to be honest, when I first listed this, I didn't think it would sell that quickly. But you will see in like the next couple of clips, it basically sold on instantly here. You can see here is our sold item of the Harry, 3.9k. That was one I tried earlier and the prices actually went up. But here we get on to some play of the month investment. If you didn't see my video yesterday, the play of the months always seem to require a Premier League squad builder challenge with an Inform card. And Inform Defoe, I picked up 13 of his cards for 28k and under. And literally, this was a really good investment because first of all, he's already started going up in price. You can see that Harry, which is selling on. So here we actually go for another Harry card. Then we'll get back to the Defoe. So I actually showed the price of a position modifier to convert a Harry. So it was a CM to CDM card. And you can see since like so many CDMs were used in this, this position modifier did go up in price. But you basically could just snipe them for from like 800 coins up to about like 900 coins. So we pick up a CM to CDM card there. Then we actually go and buy one more, I believe, where we try and buy one more for 500 coins. 800, you can see here, like, you could snipe these cards for, like, 300 coins and sell them for 1.2k if you really wanted to. But we go into our squad. We have to add up the Harry card again, which we picked up. I think this card we picked up on the snipe as well. This Harry, we picked him up for 1,000 coins. So our modifier, we just paid, was it 500 or 800? It was really cheap anyway. So our Harry card, we picked up for under 2,000 coins. And this card, I think I checked the price and I just, there was the one for 5.1k, my card for five point, uh, for 4.5k. So I listed that card for 5,000 coins and both of those sold on there. So those were really nice profits, like over 2k profit per card. And here are all of my Defoe. So basically, going back to the investments, Defoe, I reckon will rise to about 40,000 coins. And basically, I just have them already on the list because say if that drops, I can just press relist all and all of the Defoe's will get listed up. But if we actually look into our next clip now, you can see I am actually checking the price of the foe. And this is a day after I picked up my investments and made my video. And you can see his minimum buy now is 30,750 coins. So he's already gone up 3,000 coins. And this is just from a load of people investing in him. This isn't, well, like, it's to do with the player of the month. But when the player of the month comes out, these are foe cards. I reckon will rise to 38k, 40,000 coins. And fingers crossed, I'll make 10,000 coins per card, and that's 130k total profit. And on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a slightly longer one. I want to try and get these episodes back to where I used to be doing it like a couple months ago when they're 15 minutes. We'd have all of our trades picked up and then some live trading. So if you want to see that, make sure to drop a like on this video. Again, can we smash 1,000 likes? The support on these videos at the moment is absolutely crazy. Anyway, and I will try my hardest to try and get two episodes of this out next week. As I already said earlier, we're going to try and get 1 million coins before Christmas. I reckon we could do it, especially with those Defoe investments, because we've picked up 13 Defoes, and if he goes up 10,000 coins, that's 130k extra profit, which would take us up to near, I think, 900,000 coins overall, which would just be mad. So we'll probably get to that million mark 
in the next couple of weeks, which would be really, really good. And after that, I'm not too sure what I really will do with the coins. I'll probably keep trading anyway. We might trade to like a team of the year player. So if you'd want to see that, we could just continue the series, trade to like 99 Ronaldo and 99 Messi. Team of the year, it's like a month off anyway, but that's a really good time of FIFA. I'll be grinding a load of videos then. And actually, I finished school in two, just over two weeks. So I will have, I think, two weeks off. So then I'll be grinding videos. And I get so many comments of people asking me to try and stream. And the only reason I don't stream is just because I don't really have the time. Like, I'm doing double uploads every day. Today was, yesterday was a triple upload. I think, or was it four? I think yesterday was four videos. Today has been, is this the fourth video? No, it's the third video of today, I think. But it's just like the amount of effort I'm putting into YouTube right now is crazy. Thank you for all of the support so far. Like, we probably, after this video is out, we'll be near 37,000 subscribers, which is mad. I want to see if we can hit 40,000 by Christmas or by the end of the year, which I reckon we can hit. I thank you guys for all of the support so far. It's just been mad. Thank you guys for watching again. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on my next video.